This is Henry from Obedi again. Today we're back with our Pro Tools video tutorials. And in today's video, we're going to learn a third method of how to render uh, the processing of a track into a new audio file that you can use to share with other producers, engineers, or clients. Okay. So we have a session here that has three tracks. Okay. Three guitars. So let's go ahead and listen to them real quick. Guitar one, guitar two. And then guitar three. Okay. So you can see all three have equalizers on them. Okay. So let's say that you wanted to uh, render the processing of guitar one because there is an audio engineer that's going to mix a song and they need it because they don't have the same plugin for EQ or even, you know, even more extreme. They don't even have Pro Tools. So you can't just share the session with them. You need to give them files. So we talked about how to uh, do the track commit option. We also learned how to print um, a track into a new track to basically render the processing. And today we're going to learn another way, which is the the standard uh, bouncing feature of Pro Tools, which is actually used to bounce mixes. But if we do a little tweak, we can make it so that it'll be useful for um, for rendering audio of individual tracks. So, um, how does that work? Easy. Um, first of all, we need to select which is the track that we want to bounce out. And when I say bounce out, I mean, so what's going to happen is everything that is going out, outputs one and two, is going to get recorded into an audio file. Okay. And in theory, if everything is playing back, what you're going to be bouncing is your mix. But here's the tweak. If you solo a single track, then that's the only thing that is realistically going out outputs one and two. Meaning that if you bounce that, you'll be bouncing just the guitar with whatever effects it has. So if I solo guitar one, that's the only thing going out one and two. So basically if I bounce now, I'll be bouncing this guitar. So you solo the track that you want, you click on the audio clip, so as soon as you do that, you're going to see there's a new selection up here. And now we can go File, Bounce Mix. And here we can change the name. Let's call it Track uh, Guitar One Print, okay? Or Guitar One uh, Rendered, okay? So it's going to ask us what kind of file. We'll do Wave. 24 bit, 44.1, interleaf, which is the same as the session. Now it says mix source, monitor left and right stereo. So what this means is whatever is going whatever is going out, monitor left and right stereo, whatever that signal is, that's gonna feed the new audio file that's gonna be created. So where do you want it? Let's just keep it in the session folder in the bounce files directory. And then we're gonna make it offline so it's quicker. So if we press bounce. Keep in mind, before I press bounce, the track that you want has to be soloed. If it's not soloed, it's going to bounce the whole thing, the whole session. That's not what you want. You want to do just individual tracks one by one. So, guitar one, bounce. Okay. So, the question is, where is it bounced? Well, if we go to our bounce files bounce files folder you can see here that i have two tracks that i have bounced in the past i have one called gtr print i'm not using that and the one we just bounced is called gtr1 rendered okay and that is in the actual um pro tools folder there's a bounce files folder okay now if i get this and i put it in the session check this out uh, here, GTR1 rendered. In theory, this track should sound exactly the same as this one. But if you see, this one has no processing. So let's give it a shot. Let me solo this one and play. Okay, let's try the other one. The exact same thing. Okay. Now, the cool thing is, the first one, the one that has the processing, you can see there's compensation, there's delay happening, 320 samples. Now the render one, zero. 
The only catch here is that you have to remember that you have to get it from the bounds files and back into a session if that's what you want. Now, what you would do is that you would, I'm gonna go ahead and delete it for a second. You would repeat the procedure with GTR2. So you would go once again, bounce mix, GTR2, rendered, offline, boom. And then you would go GTR3, solo that one. And once again, bounce mix, GTR3 rendered, offline, bounce. And then when you're gonna share these three files with whoever's gonna mix, you just give that person these files. GTR1 rendered, GTR2 rendered, and GTR3 rendered. That means that whatever processing you had here, it's gonna be part of the file, and they don't have to add any EQ, it's already there. So that is the track bounce feature in Pro Tools. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any other questions, please call us from Obedient PC Auto Labs and we'll be happy to help you. We will see you soon. Bye-bye. Want to learn how to produce music using this or using that or using all of these? Have you been watching videos, reading manuals, blogs, and trying to figure out everything that it takes to be a music producer? Do you have a bunch of music gear that you purchased and you still haven't made any music? Well, then you need Obedia, the world's only one-on-one -on -one digital audio training and tech support service. Check out the link below for a special new subscriber offer.